Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be making a strawberry cake and I'm just gonna be baking today, no decorating. So I have here a six quart KitchenAid mixer and then I'm using the paddle attachment. I'm gonna be adding some strawberry gelatin in there. I'm gonna be adding some Pillsbury Super Moist, Moist Supreme Classic White Cake Mix, some salt, some full fat sour cream, some clear vanilla extract, some canola oil. And then I also add my own all purpose flour and sugar and eggs. So it's kind of like a mix of everything. You get to the benefits of a cake mix, which make it come out nice and fluffy and beautiful, but you also get to add your own ingredients to make it more scratch-like and to give it your own flavor. So I like to start with some frozen strawberries that I've thawed out, and I've got those in a little food processor. I'm going to get those a little chop. I'm going to pulse it a few different times. I do want those to be completely ground up until they were almost more of a liquid than solid. And the reason I like to use the frozen is because they do render a little bit more liquid than a fresh strawberry, as you can see there. So I'm going to set that to the side and then I'm going to start with all of my dry ingredients. I always do this no matter the recipe of cake um, that I am making. I always start with all of my dry ingredients and then I go back and give it a little stir with the pile attachment on low and you'll see me do that here shortly and then I start adding in my wet ingredients. The recipe for this yeah, is going to be listed in the instructions and the description of the YouTube video. So don't worry about trying to see what I'm adding when. Just know that I start with all the dry ingredients and then I go back and add in my wet ingredients. Now I'm going to be adding the eggs and I do separate most of my eggs and only use the egg whites. But in the strawberry cake recipe that we're making today, I do add in a couple of yolks. So you'll do, the recipe calls for eight eggs. You're gonna do either eight whole egg whites or you can do five to six egg whites and two to three whole eggs. That is totally your call. I think an egg yolk makes it a little bit richer. That's why I like to do that. So I've got my eggs ready and then I like to start with the oil and about half of my water, just depending on how much liquid you need to kind of absorb those dry ingredients so that it's more of a liquid as you're stirring. Once I get those started in, I add in my sour cream. So basically all of my fat from the oil and the sour cream are being added in, in the beginning with some of that water. And then I incorporate in my eggs. I add, you know, a little bit at a time, I would say roughly two to three eggs at a time but you do what works for you. I have a setting on my mixer at this point on the lowest setting while I'm adding those ingredients so they don't splash back out at me. But once I get those things in, I do turn it up just for about 30 seconds and then I do a nice scrape down like you see me doing here. And it's important when you're scraping to really get the bottom of the bowl, to get the paddle attachment, to get the sides, to really make sure all those dry ingredients are getting mixed in with the liquid thoroughly. So now I've got it back on the second speed and then I dropped it back down. You saw me pour a little bit of water in there. I'm gonna keep adding that water in between other ingredients. And then I've got a tablespoon there and I'm adding about three to four tablespoons of my pureed strawberries in. Again, some more water. And I know this video is going kind of fast, but I didn't want you to have to watch me mix all those ingredients together. But generally I don't go above the third speed on my mixer when I'm making cake. So I'm going back and forth with the water until it's all incorporated. And the reason I don't dump in all the water at once is because it will splash back up at you. But once all the water's in, I do bring it up a notch to that third setting, let it mix for about 30 to 45 seconds. And then again, I'm doing another really good scrape of the bowl and the paddle attachment to make sure that everything is completely incorporated. Once I am done scraping down that last time, I do bring it back up for about a minute on that third setting, just to make sure, again, everything is incorporated and now I'm done. So I'm gonna scrape down that beater, make sure I get all the nice yummy batter off of that. Um, you could add food coloring to this to make it a brighter pink or to make it almost a red. I choose not to. I feel like the Jello gives it enough of a pink tint for me, but feel free to do that if you think it's necessary. And I'm gonna use a spray for my baking pans. So I like to use this brand, it's called Spreece. 
You can order it online. It's fantastic, but any baking spray would be perfect. Or if you want to use the flour butter method or parchment paper, do what works best for you. And then I fill up my pans about two thirds of the way because I like my batter to rise a little bit above the pan so that I can take a large knife and kind of saw that top part off to make it more of an even layer. You can do this less. You can only fill the pans halfway. You can fill them well, I would say you could fill them a little bit more, but then you might overflow in your oven. So I would not suggest that. Just keep in mind the fuller the pan, the longer it has to bake. And so I got two six inch rounds, two eight inch rounds, and one dozen standard cupcakes from that double recipe of strawberry cake. And those go into an oven. Mine is at 325 in a convection oven, but you would do 350 in the standard oven. And it really depends. The cupcakes could take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the heat in your oven. Um, those six inch rounds take a little bit longer. I'll put all those details in the, in the description of the video. So as you see here, I have a large cake serrated knife that I like to use. And you can also see that it's coming off on my cake knife quite a bit because the cake is still warm. I like to cut the tops off while they're still warm. Actually, they're almost hot at this point. I only leave them in the pan for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then I wrap them in plastic wrap, but I don't do this all consecutively. So I leave them in the pan for 10 minutes, covered up with a clean dish towel. And then I let them cool a little bit longer. And then I cover them in plastic wrap. And then I either decorate them the next day or I pop them in the freezer to decorate a couple of days later. And then my cupcakes, as you can see, I just put into a large Ziploc bag to freeze or use the next day. I hope this video helped. Let me know what questions you have. Thanks for watching.